The president of Mexico, Andres Manuel López Obrador, assured that the trial against Ecuador is not yet over after the decision of the International Court of Justice not to impose precautionary measures for the assault on the embassy in Quito. The Mexican president indicated that the provisional measures proposed in the International Court were with the purpose of protecting the Mexican embassy and the documentation kept in the diplomatic institution. The Mexican head of state also ruled out any possibility of reestablishing dialogue with, and relations with the administration of Daniel Novoa, stating that the leader violated international law and violated Mexico's sovereignty. President López Obrador also indicated that the case against Ecuador is important to set a precedent so that there is no other violation of international law. If what was requested in the precautionary measures was that the embassy be protected, I think that it will take time. And it is important that it be a precedent. El presidente, para que nunca más se so that international law is never again violated and an embassy is invaded, which is a violation of the sovereignty of a country. And we will continue with this position. We are not looking for dialogue with those who do not respect the sovereignty of our country. This is already in the International Court and it will be solved there. Esto ya está en la Corte Internacional y allá se va a resolver. Todo a través de la Corte. Además, eh, everything through the court. Iniciativa de also by initiative de of other governments and leaders. They have been asked to release the former vice president who had been granted asylum. He has been granted it in Mexico, and they have not bothered. In the Netherlands, the International Court of Justice announced that it will not issue the provisional measures demanded by Mexico against Ecuador after the assault on the Mexican embassy in Quito. The court concluded that the circumstances do not require the exercise of its power to take precautionary measures. The International Court also stressed that it considered it necessary to insist on the fundamental importance of the principles in the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Meanwhile, Mexico requested the court to suspend Ecuador as a member of the United Nations Organization and that Quito warranted the full protection and security of the Mexican diplomatic headquarters. The legal consultant Alejandro Celorio Alcantara offered statements on the ICJ ruling on Mexico's request for provisional measures in response to the violent raid by the Ecuadorian police and the Mexican embassy. Mexico feels very satisfied with uh, today's decision. First and foremost, the judges of the International Court of Justice ratified and expressed that the inviolability of the diplomatic uh, mission is a cornerstone of the relations between uh, countries. This is of the utmost importance for uh, Mexico, for Ecuador, for the world in general, recognizing that there's no exceptions to the inviolability. The legal consultant also announced that with this decision, the Mexican embassy will not be violated again. Even though we, uh, the provisional measures that the government of Mexico requested weren't granted, I mean, 
this is a court and we presented our arguments and the judges had their considerations. We're reading with close attention what some judges had to say about the opinion, even concurring, they had their specifics. Um, just to say that now Mexico has a binding obligation on Ecuador to respect our um, embassy. That means that we can resort on Ecuador's not only credibility, but assurances and legal obligations before the court to know that our embassy won't be violated again. In a nutshell, Mexico won today because the inviolability of the locals is recognized as a cornerstone of international law and diplomatic relations. And secondly, because Ecuador is now under um, its obligation not to violate our uh, embassy again.